Alright guys, welcome back to part two. So the last you seen I dipped them and hung them. So I've literally just taken them off the rack now, a little handful of them. Just taken them off the rack. Cleared out the eyes of the excess poly. And one thing, I don't know whether the camera will pick up on it or not. Maybe we'll get my face out of the way. That's lead in his eye. That one's got none because he was the heaviest. That one's got a tiny bit. And that one's got a tiny bit. So I literally just belt the sinker out flat and cut it in the long skinny strips, poke it in through the eye, compress it in there. It's literally just how I balance them so they're all exactly the same weight. There's I think I was 14.75 on the heaviest and it's like 14.74 and then 14.71. It's pretty damn close. Close enough for me anyway. So always gonna be a little bit of variance when I put the clear coat on as well, so. Alright, I'm just gonna sand them up, scuff them up a little bit, get them ready for paint. Alright, so I've done a few drawings again. That one on the left there says red claw crayfish. And like a so a blue looking yabby, bluish, blue grey, blue brown, a couple of like gold tinges, maybe a couple of little bits of red here and there, and then they've got little red tips on their claws, they're local around here in the fresh water. So I'm going to try and make something up like that, hopefully I can get a little fresh water fish up here to have a go. I'm going to do the one on the right, I've just called it sunset, I'm not exactly sure. It's pretty much just going to transition from yellow through orange to red. Do some sort of black pattern on its back, black around the eye. Um, don't know, I might do gills, might do fins, I'll see how it looks. Down on the left, this is going to be a little natural coloured sort of barred lure. Olive sides, maybe dark green to brown back, black back even. Little bars. I'm going to go for a shad-ish type one. I'm going to start with this one. For some reason I suck at doing shad. Every time I try one I mess it up, so... I'm going to start with this. Just start with the black base. Spray those um, that new chrome colour over it. So I've got black lines between silver scales. We go silver, uh, white belly. Bell white belly. And I'll have a little bit of bluey something on the top. Colour shift. Alright, let's sand these up, we'll prime them and we'll get into them. Alright guys, I'll sand it up, I've got them clamped on my little... What are those things called? Forceps? Let's give them a quick brushing to remove off the excess sanding dust and we'll get into it. <clears throat> so the shad's going to have a black base coat, the rest are all going to have white base coat. Because the shad is going to go black first, then white, then pearl white, I'm going to do him first and come back when I base coat the other guy's white and do, it, do this guy's belly. <clears throat> Probably be the last time I use black until right near the end of most lures. Alright, I still haven't bought myself an opaque black. Remind me to put that on the list next time. I really like that black. <clears throat> it's like a real matte finish. It's called Lamp Black. I think it's a... Uh, not even sure it's craft shop acrylic, but it's just very black. <laughs> Wicked opaque white. Pretty much use this as the base coat on majority of my lures. I'm going to 
go over all that with pearl white. Pearl white, I'm going to come higher up into the body though, so it creates a transition between the, the black and the white under the, the chrome scale. So let's use some wicked pearl. Won't need much. Don't like it. It's all out of shape. See that? Going around that belly part there, it's all distorted. Not a fan. Scale pattern changes. Might end up going to window screen here. Pretty hard to see on the black lure, of it. you see that pearl white shining through, it's pretty nice. Alright, <clears throat> so this is just detail violet. Just going to try and mix a tiniest little bit in with that silver. I'll just give that a quick shot down along the ridge. Pretty much from the top of the eyeball back to the tail. Get these clips off and I'll have a look. There's some funky looking scales there. What happened there? I have a little concave in that side of the belly. It's gone under the net. Alright, doesn't look too bad. I like that chrome over the white. That looks pretty cool. Just the uh, lamp black again. We're going to go straight down the middle of his back over that pattern. And then I'm going to hit it with a bit of purple colour shift. Alright, <clears throat> so that's his black back. Give it a quick square to this across the back. Alrighty, let's get this mesh off and have a look.
nice little bit here. We've got this metal colour. Let's give it a quick squirt on the on the mouth and the gill. That stuff comes out quick. And so it's the prettiest thing I've ever done, but I'm going to leave all the eyes to right at the end. It's not really going to be much about the eyes on this guy, I don't think. It'll just be a pupil and a silver backing. Like a holographic backing, I don't know. Alright, so sunset. I'm go with this. It says green. Looks pretty yellow in the bottle, but pretty much gonna go belly. Orange fires through the center. Detail carmine's a very prominent colour across the spine. Then I'll come back across the spine with the pattern. In black. Still a bit of basic scale, straight down his spine. It's not scale, they're ovals, but something like that. Out of black. Should I go down the side with something? Yeah, we give him some tiger vibes. Couple of stripes. Yeah, let's do that. Tiger stripes through the mesh. Too bad. Dark him up around the eyes. Guys, try the craw red claw crayfish. So, I've started off with a tanny sort of base. <laughs> right, so, what I was doing there is purposely just putting random splotches of color. Literally all I'm doing here is just got some painters tape, fold the back on itself. So at the edge where it's doubled over, cut it off so you can pull it apart and you get two individuals.
All I've done was trace along the bottom of that. Folded over some window screen four times. Try and get some right on that last little sec. Mixed up a call it semi transparent, some metallic blue, fairly dark. It's about 50 50 with a um, balancing clear, it's coming out nice and slow. So, literally, what I'm going to do is just between each bit of shell, just put a little strip of light blue, not against the, the, um, the existing. See how we went. Just a little unsure on this nose part. Probably should have just kept going around down here somewhere, but oh well, it's done now. Guys, just gluing some eyes in. I forgot to hit record. All I've done is put the, the holographic backing in using five minute epoxy. 
Ricardo. Not happy with this one. I think candy colours arrived today, so I'm going to go to black and try and do a bit of silver marbling. This colour here is a gravel orange. So I'm going to try that and see how it looks. video I watched they literally said spray your silver on something shiny and flat lay your glad wrap on it lay your glad wrap on your on your piece I reckon nice and shiny. Should look alright with a bit of candy orange over it. Alright, got that orange candy in the brush, just giving these eyes a quick squirt. Yep. Yep. dry I'll come back glue some eyes in really wait till tomorrow to clear it but you gotta let this stuff set up pretty well I did intend on carving these lures, I just, yeah, I had a test run on a different lure inside before. Didn't go so well. So I'll keep practicing. I will get there. You'll see one soon. Can't see any gold in that color shift. It's supposed to. I like how that eye come out with the orange candy and the holographic behind it. It's crazy looking. Oh, I'll get him on the turner. Hooks are all long, guys. Let's run on the scales and see how well I've got them balanced. No, for sure, the little gold one at the front here is heavier than the rest. I just don't know by how much. Because the shape's a little bit different. Right, let's start with the shad. 
18.34, that's in grams. Eighteen point three two point zero two of a gram <clears throat> point zero two of a gram is pretty damn close. Eighteen point three two so Eighteen point four eight. We're pretty damn close. Extremely happy about that. So that was that little skinny thin bits of lead I stuck in the eye sockets before I put the eyes in, just to balance them and get them as close as possible. Like it would have been maybe half a gram at the most I put in one of those eye sockets. I think it was this guy. That's why he's so heavy. Overdone it a little bit, but. I went pretty heavy with the um, clear coats on these too. Two thick coats. These remember from the start. So the raw lure. 16.23 to sink plus clear coat. What did we come out to? 18.3. So there's two grams worth of clear coat. Two coats, so one gram a coat. <laughs> All right, hopefully we're out of the wind enough here to see this action. Weather hasn't been crash out all weekend. Not very good for getting the kayak out, that's for sure. Very windy, it's been raining. It's cold. Alright. So we sink. That's good. He's got a nice little wiggle. Hopefully you can see that. Just do a quick changeover while I'm at the car. Chuck one of these other colours on. What do you reckon? Crawl? Able to see this one a bit better in the water. Come back up to that, eh? System. A little fish right out there. See him? Sitting in the middle. I was guessing man, I'd say that was a bass. I 
it goes. That wraps up another one. Turns out I still can't catch fish, so I'll have to sort that out in one of the upcoming videos, I think. <laughs> Might have to go and hit up the salt water. It's a bit of a drive for me, but catch some fish, it's worth it. Alright, catches.